Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it into fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time. Keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare.
Hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Farish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen. I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the Hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador, the best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. 
You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau. And it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. I think it's director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned. You know? I should be going. Right. You got a lockdown to lift. <laughs> 